You're watching Biz One on One. Steve Harvey is the founder and CEO of Business Finders Canada, which is a commercial brokerage for buying and selling businesses that's rolling out right across the country right now. Uh, we're going to find out the top five myths. Steve is going to share with us the top five myths about buying and selling a business. Steve, welcome to uh, Biz One on One. And uh, you're quite a, quite a character. You've got quite an interesting background yourself and being involved with a number of different businesses, including your own airline in your early 20s, <laughs> I think yeah. it was. So um, I'd like to talk about your business from a perspective of growing your own business. You're about to franchise, you're in the process of fra franchising Business Finders Canada right out across the country. Tell us about how that came about. Well, Business Finders Canada came about in, uh, you know, an idea that I had back in about 2007. And, uh, and then it actually uh, conceptualized uh, and we had our first office open up in 2009. And uh, that was me, uh, just by myself. So you were basically the proverbial one-man show. And uh, now it's grown into a company that is expanding across the country. Uh, what it, you're the go, you were at that time the go-to guy if uh, I have a business I'm thinking I want to get out or if I'm a person that's thinking I want to buy a business so you're the person that brings it to, brings it all together tell us about that yeah so we, we put the buyer and the seller together uh, you know as, you know as far as we know there's not another company that does does what we do at the level that we do it at and we didn't get there overnight it's been uh, you know seven years now of, of uh, you know learning going through mistakes, uh, understanding how to work with a buyer, understanding how to work with a seller. Uh, you know, buyers, you know, have their own ideas when, when they come, um, you know, when they come to the table. A lot of times they inquire about a business and uh, it's actually not a fit for them. So we actually move them into something else. And, uh, you know, with the seller, we work with a seller who, who has an idea of, of, you know, what they think their business is worth. And we take them through the process of evaluation and help them understand, you know, here's what their company is worth and what we can do with it. So your type of business, a business brokerage, is actually quite uh, advanced, for example, in the U.S. and other parts of the world, Europe. It's amazing that there's so few business brokerages, or you're saying none, that do it to the level that you do in Canada. So there's the opportunity. 89% of companies are in this small, medium-sized space, and you provide that service. So it's time to roll it out across Canada. How are you doing it? Well, here, you know, here's a stat. You know, the, the average baby boomer right now, or the baby boomers are between 50 years, 52 years of age to 70. Okay, so they're the majority owners of these businesses. Right. So these business owners over the next five years, so at any given time, about 18% of businesses are for sale on the market. Wow. Okay. And in most cases, they're not even using a business brokerage. Right. Well, 80% of businesses that are on the market for sale don't sell. Right. So you've got a large portion of people that are going to have to sell their business, pass it down to a family member, sell it to a partner, or just blow away in the wind. So if they're not prepared, you know, what's going to happen to their business? So 40, or sorry, 42% of businesses over the next five years are, you know, expected to come onto the market. And over the next 10 years, strictly due to baby boomers, we're talking 70% of all businesses in all sectors. 70% of businesses are going to change hands in the next 10 years. What a huge business opportunity for you. Absolutely. So Business Finders Canada has developed systems, uh, proper opportunities. We've fine-tuned fine everything over the last number of years. And so we're just getting ready to launch you know, across Western Canada and into Eastern Canada. So let's talk about what we promised to, to share with our viewers, the top five myths about buying and selling a business. Sure, yeah, so there's a, there's, there's a lot of myths out there. You can go online and read about all kinds of things about selling businesses, but you know, the number one reason is, you know what, my company's ready to sell. But if you haven't prepared your business, if you haven't gone through your financials, your business isn't ready to sell. Just because your business is going along fine, it doesn't mean to say it's easy to sell. That's right, yeah. You know, the second myth is I've got a lot of time. Well, 10 years can go by very, very quickly in a business. And again, if things happen. So in other words, I'm in my early 60s. I don't need to think about this for another two, three years. Whereas you're saying maybe uh, there's some work to do in advance of setting yourself up to. So, so you get the most value for your business. That's right. And businesses don't generally sell overnight. I'm sure some, some can sell quickly, 
but on average, you know, the average business takes somewhere, you know, the small business takes somewhere between seven to nine months to sell, and a larger business can take 12 to 24 months. So you've got to start preparing, you know, we like to see at least two years before that. You know, I can sell my business myself. That's a myth. That's a myth. Uh, you know, again, only 20% of businesses out there that are up for sale actually sell. And then oftentimes they don't get the, the, the kind of value that they could have gotten with a little bit of help. That's right. And it's super important to, you know, understand the valuation part of it. Uh, you know, how are you going to take yourself out of your business and deal with all the unqualified buyers? Uh, we've seen business owners try to sell their business and they get caught up in, uh, in with a buyer that's not financially qualified or qualified at all. And it strings them, or, you know, they get strung along for six, seven, eight months before they realize that this person can't buy the business. Right. It's a little more complex than a basic real estate transaction. So I think you've said three myths. Two yeah, more. Yeah, two more. Um, you know, I'll get the asking price I'm asking. So you know what? There's negotiation involved. And, you know, the price for your business, generally, we, what we see out there, of course, every once in a while you can get exactly what you're asking. But you, you need to be prepared to get somewhere around 90% of your asking value because people are looking to negotiate. Yeah. Um, and then, you know what? The buyer's financing is not my problem as a seller. Oh, yeah. Right? I, can, I can understand that. Yeah. But if you eliminate, if, you're, if you have your business for sale and you're only interested in the people who can write you a check out of their own cash, you're very much limiting your prospective customers. Yeah, a lot, a lot smaller portion. And even people that do have the money, they like to sometimes keep the owner involved or do what's called some vendor take back financing. Uh, just so that they can you know keep that person engaged until the proper transition happens to that new owner i mean you even say the word vendor take back ebitda these these terms that are used in the business of selling businesses hey just because i own a business doesn't mean i i have a clue of what vendor take back is and that right. is exactly why they you know someone that's selling a business or buying a business would want to uh, talk to a business broker you're 100 percent correct because the bank is looking for generally uh someone to help with the process um, and that vendor take back financing, it just means that the owner is gonna hold some of the money uh, you know, through the transition or even over a period of time until that new owner takes full control of that business. Steve Harvey, making a difference for all these thousands of people across the country that are gonna be involved in buying and selling businesses over the next few years. Congratulations, Steve. Thanks Randy, for joining great. us. Thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate great to your have time. you on the show. You're watching Biz One on One.